Do you ever feel stuck, like you're living your life on autopilot? Are you ready to shift into high gear and reach the success you so richly deserve? Welcome to the Play Big Movement podcast. I am your host, Sharon Lecter, entrepreneur, business strategist, and best-selling author. Playing big is not about settling for good enough or being comfortable. It is about reaching your highest potential and achieving your greatest success. Join me in my Play Big Movement as I interview top experts in business, money, and entrepreneurship, all ready to serve you and to help you play big, be number one in your field, live your legacy, and create maximum impact. Hi, welcome to this segment of the Play Big Movement podcast. And today I get to have a very special friend. We've been trying to coordinate our schedules for over a year. So we're good uh, like that. <laughs> yeah, probably more than yeah probably longer than that yeah. we uh we are both like ships in the night and actually we usually see, we both live in the phoenix area and we typically only see each other when we're in la or san diego well i saw a lot of you in italy yeah in italy well, well that's where i was headed <laughs> and um had the incredible pleasure of spending I don't know, was it 10 days? An incredible trip to Italy. Clarissa Burt, thank you so much for being with me today. You are about everything but a rock star, and you're one of those anyway, because you, um, we talk, people talk about you have different professions during your life, and Clarissa, you have excelled at so many different things. And I want to share a little story about Italy only because um, I knew you pretty well before we went. You were so gracious. You, uh, I received an award, the Profilo Donna Award, and um, it was you created an incredible trip throughout Italy. And just, it, just I have these reminders popping up on Facebook, and I always smile. Got an incredible behind-the-scenes tour at the Vatican, but it's balcony. But nobody's supposed to know that. That's a secret. <laughs> Well, you can pay for behind-the-scenes trips, so I wasn't going to talk about the extra. The Pope's balcony, the Pope's balcony, not even the cleaning people get onto the Pope's balcony. (laughs) (laughs) But it was, um, the whole time we were in Italy, as soon as we were on Italian soil, it was as if Cleopatra had arrived. Everybody was all, Clarissa, Clarissa. I mean, we knew, I... It's, Clarissa was an incredible supermodel. How many magazine covers were you on? Well, I lived in Italy for 30 years, and I also worked on television there. So it's it's a small country. It's not that hard to become famous there, but I guess I was. And so uh, the, the number of the covers should be between the modeling covers and the television covers, about 250 all told. 250 but, magazine covers. And then... You know her well on various movies, and she's an award-winning actress and director, and she's just an incredible media personality. And and she has um, evolved into someone who helps others get that exposure and takes them into the spotlight, right? Right. Well, I'm really (laughs) excited about the launch recently of In the Limelight Media. And what In the Limelight Media is is an online multimedia platform for women entrepreneurs. And so that gives women entrepreneurs and solopreneurs the possibility to have the promotion uh, of their businesses that they might not otherwise have. Um, it's very expensive to promote your business. Um, it's, uh, it's also a little touch and go if you work with a PR firm because you never know exactly what you're going to get. Well, if you come and work with me, you do know exactly what you're going to get. Um, I'm very excited about the television portion because we're able to go Facebook Live, YouTube, live and periscope live simultaneously so that's real fun and i love live so that's you know that's where i really think this is a brand new initiative that you just launched right i love live i love live because live streaming is a whole different animal Uh, and so we have to make sure that we're really good to go on many different fronts before we can go live the then we have the podcast as well. So the audio is extrapolated for the podcast. The In the Limelight podcast is, is just getting launched right now. And it's with uh, Scott Sullivan. I, you may know him from Secret Knock. So that's on Inspired News Radio. And we're going out with a lot with the, um, the podcast there. And then I have the magazine. Don't go away. <laughs> Never. And she was the star in the never ending story. 
part two. So here's the first in the Limelight magazine. I actually, it's a digital magazine, but I did get the uh, hard copy. Just one because they're $25 a piece. Um, and so, but it's really kind of interesting. You know, it's, it's great, great content, beautiful. I've even got Lamborghini in there. You remember yep. the Lamborghini. So it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, magazine as well. So there are three different touches, if you will, uh, in the magazine, in the uh, media group. And then, of course, all the social media and everything that, that works around. I'm pulling about 18-hour days right now. Can you tell? <laughs> that's, that's called being an entrepreneur. I, I know it well, yes. <laughs> so it's but you're having a blast. I can see it in your face. You're loving uh, it. I'm having so much fun. It's really where I, it's where I live. It's where I thrive and where I want to be. Um, speaking of the Italy trip, we do have another trip coming up in October um, with the two beautiful things that you didn't see there added, which is the Prince Albert uh, Foundation Gala Dinner. And Prince Albert's foundation is very big about green and sustainable and cleaning oceans and all these lovely things. So we're taking the group there as well. And there could be the possibility of having the private audience with the Pope this time. So I'm very excited about those possibilities. And so I'm, I'm actively looking for the 20, the 20 people to come with me this trip. And well, that's well, fun. I can guarantee anybody that's considering it, it's... Incredible. The, yeah. uh, the depth of knowledge Clarissa has, the contacts, and that's really, you know, as we've started this podcast, you've all heard about, you know, the exceptional star that she is and the, and the experience and exposure in media. But I want to talk about the master connector. Because Clarissa, you, you know, you are the, in the media, you're the face on the screen, but also you are like the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. Oh, wow. As an an example, you're a dear friend of Frank Shankwitz, who was one of the founders of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and you connected him to Greg Reed, brought him to Secret Knock, and Greg has made him a star. Now they've just finished the Wish Man movie, which you were in. Um, And I was associate producer on that movie. Yes, yes. But you continue to introduce people and make connections because you see the greater good and you don't do it for personal gain. And I think, you know, when we talk about play big, we're constantly looking at, you know, power of association, larger games, but this, this law of association, when I think of anybody that lives in grace, it's you. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. You know, making those introductions and seeing, you know, the opportunity for people to grow. Right. And then step back and watch it all happen. And that's the beautiful part of it. You know, people, I'm often reprimanded because I don't make it a business or I don't ask for money or I don't ask. I don't ask. Um, you know, the universe is all abundant. Well, I'll get mine. I've got plenty. I don't need you know, much more than what I've got. And uh, I'm happy. I'm just happy to see everyone else doing really, really great things. And Frank is and Greg is and, and the movie's doing extremely well. I mean, a standing ovation in con. Come on. I mean, these are things that you dream of, right? And then when they become a reality, it's pretty exciting to watch. We were both at the, the premiere in L.A., Beverly Hills, and then um, sponsored the premiere of the Wishman movie here in Arizona yeah, as well. Yeah. Yes, I was still in L.A. and couldn't make it, but yeah. Yeah, I heard great things about it. it was I mean, Frank raved about it. I mean, raves about it, because I interviewed him uh, last week uh, for In the Limelight. And, uh, oh, he just raved, raved, raved. Said it was one of the best ever, you know, of all the premieres. It was the best. Great, don't tell him. Don't tell Greg. <laughs> well, I was able to arrange Scott Passmore, who yes. is one of the famous news personalities here, who also rides motorcycles, and who had been involved in several fundraisers for Frank okay. over the years. Well, I didn't know so he had a special place in his heart for Frank, as Frank did for him. Now, originally, I was reaching out to my friend Tara Hitchcock, who also was a long-term media personality here, but she was um, not available that night. And um, then he talked to me about Scott, so I reached out to Scott. So that made it extra special, I think, because it brought that history to the room and of course everybody in the room knew who Scott was as well so it was special for them to see him there as well let's talk about important things how's your granddaughter <laughs> she's fantastic she's going to be two here in a couple of weeks I can't believe it our little gift from doll baby oh she is the cutest 
And in addition, as another example of you as a great connector, you came and assisted Shelly, my daughter, on one of her very first first events and was her MC and just uh, out of the kindness of your heart, you always show up. And that's when we talk about half, half the uh, battle is showing up and um, reaching out to other people. And now in, the, in this new business of yours, I think all of your talents are coming, you're bringing them all together to launch it's this new exciting. It's chapter. very exciting. It's very exciting, um, Sharon. It really is because it's what I love to do. I love, I love watching women rise and I love being able to be a part of that. Um, right now we're in, you know, proof of concept phase and it's alpha phase. And so, you know, the, the people that are in, that I've been interviewing up until now, I must say, it's really, they're all getting in for free. This will be a paid gig eventually, but I'm very excited for the, the opportunity to also help, um, co with the co-marketing with these women. So mm -hmm. in amongst themselves, um, and I think that's very exciting as well. The, the, the next step, once all of the hardware and technical things are all locked down. Um, in fact, I'm going to uh, Las Vegas this coming weekend. There's the Influencer Summit. I've got the Cosmoprof, which is the biggest beauty show, trade show on the planet. And then another event while I'm there. Um, and we'll be taking, I'll take the videographer with me. So I'm really starting now to, you know, to do what I love to do. And that is to showcase um, and highlight women entrepreneurs and and make, make it affordable, make it accessible for them to be able in a very different way, but very traditional way at the same time um, to promote themselves, to promote their businesses. And I think there's a message here too that I share with people because as I said, about a, hour, about a year and a half ago, I almost retired because I had kind of, after losing my son and I was at 65 in January and I thought, well, maybe I should just, you know, step back. And I said, you know, there's more for me to do. There's more that, uh, you know, I, I can't just sit and watch TV. And it's never too late to start a new chapter. Now, you're a lot younger than I am, Clarissa. but you. Well, I don't know about a lot. I did turn 60 <laughs> in April. You know, yeah, that's five years. But, yeah. um, you know, it, it's, it's funny you should say because, you know, 10 years ago, I was, you know, in 2008, I was pretty much set for life. I had worked a very long time and, and had made good money and had, and, and had invested it well. Uh, and then 2008 hit and I lost a lot of money in, in different ways as many of us did. And it was, uh, it was, it was a very rude awakening to, and, and at the same time, a true blessing to find out that life begins at 60. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, truly I'm rebranding and starting all over again at 60, basically. Up until now, it's been networking. You know, I mean, I came home 10 years ago. I didn't know anyone. Greg was really the first place I landed. And from there, it was business card after business card after people used to say to me, what do you do? And I never had an answer. And it was embarrassing. It was hard because I knew from where I came and it was a great success, but it wasn't for me to say. You know, I mean, what was I going to say? Oh, you know, I was a model and I have all these covers and I was on TV. And I, you, know, you don't run around saying things. I, it doesn't, I didn't want to seem boastful. But at the same time, it was very difficult because I didn't have much to say, you know. Um, but I kept networking all the same and I kept showing up at all the events and meeting one person after the other. And now I do have something. I've got the business all pulled together. I absolutely love what I do. And, and, every, and everything you've done up to this point has been a stepping stone to create this so that you have the full, you know, you, you've got the talent for every aspect of what you're doing and the experience. Yeah. And that's, and that's the message I want um, everybody watching and listening is, you know, there's always a new chapter and, you know, if you allow yourself to be open to the possibility and I, you know, I was the same way, Clarissa, for a lot of time, pe pe even people say, well, well, what do you do? Well, okay, where do I start? <laughs> right. No. Exactly. Um, let's see. I'm a CPA. I'm an author. I'm, a, you know, an entrepreneur. White house. Mother, grandmother. You know, it's like. <laughs> yeah. It's, and, it's, a, it's a lot, you know, when you are as accomplished. But being, you know, the, I think that one of the biggest lessons in all of this is you can be as accomplished as, you know, as women like yourself self uh, or even me or and many others and then the next thing you know you turn around and you know something you know life shattering happens or 
you know, a move across the, you know, the world. To, you know, I moved from, you know, what you saw me doing in Italy to Cape Creek, Arizona. And my neighbors had no clue who I was. They still don't. You know what I mean? So not that, I, look, it wasn't about being famous and being known. It was about what was going to be next and how I was going to get there. And remember that what I did in life, which was television, television production, you know, on-camera talent, with the event of this little guy right here, everyone became on-camera talent, a director a producer, you know, and media took a, a very, very, very drastic change overnight. So it was really difficult. That was a double, it was like a duplicit kind of situation where it's like, well, everybody does what I only know how to do. It's really, I know how to do many things, but really well, I'm good in media, you know. So it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was interesting. It was very interesting for me. Um, and, and, and coming from, you know, being so well known to, zero um and starting all over again and it, it's very that's, that's a pretty dramatic shift for people yeah and I, and I will say you know and this is just you know it's not said to be a, a empty compliment because it really was true when we saw the depth of um, recognition and excitement I mean people were just thrilled to see you in Italy when we were there and you were so humble and gracious and it was just a it made me very proud of you. Proud you. As, uh, as a know, friend. It was awesome. It was a great trip. I, I, it's one of those kind of things that you know, you can never duplicate. Yeah. And I think we, you know, we went, we're a small group of us, very small. There were only four all told, but we, we really had the time of our lives. It was really the trip, I think, of a lifetime. Yes. Um, and I was very excited. This Even this week, for example, you know, I had the gluten-free, the Italian gluten-free gastronomy cookbook that came out because I'm gluten intolerant. And I did it with a gal here in town. She's an Italian chef. And we put together a beautiful book. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I'll keep pointing over there because it's over there. Um, and I don't want to jump up again to go run and get another book. But I, um, <laughs> but I, um, it, it, so the Italian version just came out this week. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And, it, and I got more press coverage. And it's crazy because I haven't lived in Italy now for 14 years. And the, the amount of love that pours in from the Italian side is just so heartwarming. It, it, really, it, it really makes me glow, I think, you know, when I get all the love from, from the people that remember. It's real nice. Oh, and, and, and it's so genuine. It's not just, oh, look who that is. It's like, Clarissa. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah, it's love nice. it. Very sweet. So, you know, we talk about it's never too late to start a new chapter. Right. And the power of connections. So um, share a little bit about the mindset that you went through when you had, you know, it was one thing to move here from Italy and go from being ultra famous to, you know, relatively unknown here. But in that time period in 2008 to have, you know, so a lot of women end up in with divorce or their husband dies and then that dramatic, but you were a well-established career woman right. and you were faced with this right. financial, you know, correction like so many people were talking yeah. about. Well, not only 2008 brought, for me, it brought menopause, which was an interesting, it's an interesting concept. <laughs> um, and, and it was, and I didn't, pass through easily for sure it brought a uh it brought a a separation from a relationship where i found out that i was basically in a relationship with a complete fraud complete fraud and when i tell you look you know me i think well enough to, to know that i might not be the brightest bulb on the tree but i'm not stupid either and this guy was that good so that was the two-year relationship that was pulled out from under my, from a rug that was pulled out from under me when i had no idea i mean i had inklings but they always had the answer to the question and very quickly. And they and he was so astute and it was so convincing. And I went, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. And, and at the end of the day, that happened. So not only was there a financial. Um, so you had uh, the trifecta, huh? Mm. I had a trifecta. I did have the trifecta. And, and it was, and I went into a very deep depression, very deep depression for quite some time. And that was another thing that, you know, took me a while to get out of. So it was, it, look, it's been an interesting ride, a very interesting ride. Um, I don't know if I answered your question, but I'm going down memory lane now. And, you know, it just makes you, it makes you bigger, it makes you better, it makes you stronger. I think my antenna 
go higher now. My BS meter is like off the charts, you know. I mean, I I, I could I could pick up I could pick them from a mile now, you know. So en- engaging that sixth sense, right? Mm-hmm. Like in Thinking Grow Rich, the book, yes. the sixth sense, without a doubt. Listening, sure. to, listening to your gut, because what happens is we we have that inkling, and then we step in and try and rationalize, mm-hmm. right, and make excuses, and um, you know, and typically the person that we're talking about, they're they're used to making excuses, and they're pretty smooth and practiced. Well, this guy was particularly good at it because he had defrauded his partner out of nine million dollars, mm-hmm. and his partner thought that I was in on the crime that it was like a Bonnie and Clyde scheme. So I went through some very difficult, very interesting times. Mm. Uh, He, what he did was uh, give my cell phone number to all his creditors. Oh my goodness. So I was getting phone calls on Christmas Eve, Christmas day, New Year's Eve and New Year's day of 2000 and now eight, 2008. And so I had, to, you know, I had to get the police involved because I was getting harassed and I was, you know, fearful. These people were, were calling, you know, they were calling, they were saying, you know, they were going to pre- call the FBI. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm sitting here in Cape Rico, Arizona, minding my own business. I never do anything from anybody. I'm like the straightest laced person you're ever going to meet. And here I am all caught up in this baloney. I mean, it was nuts. But it, it taught me a lesson, well, quite a few lessons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it fortifies your backbone a little bit, doesn't it? I will say that it did, yes. Mm-hmm. There are times when you feel like there's no, no light at the end of the tunnel, but you and know I think what happens also, you. Sharon, is I think what happens also is that you, you, you kind of really get down on yourself. You, get, you really blame yourself for not, you know, why didn't I know? Why didn't I pick that up? I should have known. I'm smarter than this. And then, you know, you realize that maybe, you know, you have to eat a little crow because you're not as smart as you thought you were. So what was the first step back for you? Um, the first step back was obviously I, I'm going to, you know, a straight up, I got onto some Lexapro. I don't mind saying it because it was truly needed. Uh, it's something that I, you know, I, when I took because I, I was nine months in thinking I could deal with all of this by myself. Remember now it's the financial thing. It's the guy thing. It's menopause. So I, um, I, I, I went on to a, an antidepressant for about six weeks, six weeks. And that was enough to get me past the absolute dull of the dullest drums, you know, the mm-hmm. dull drums. And then I just, um, I just got you just big girl britches one step at a time you know, we all make mistakes and, and what's going to be next. And I think the next thing I did was I went and I won Survivor. I went on to Italian Survivor, the t- Italian version of Survivor. And I didn't want to go because I didn't want to be a 53-year-old woman on a reality show. Who the hell wants to do that? But I said, you know what? This is, this is a good, you know, why not? Let me go. I mean, the, 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 the paycheck was very good. Don't get me wrong. But I went and I did Survivor. And I'll be damned if I didn't win the darn thing. So I, 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 that's what I did. I went and I did a reality show, Sharon, and I won. So if you can win Survivor, I think you're pretty tough. You're a pretty tough broad. <laughs> I think that's probably a really good way for you to have an exclamation <laughs> point on it. All right. This part's done. I'm ready for the next chapter, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me just go win Survivor. Excuse me, I'm going to go win Survivor. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> so people listening and watching, you know, there's many of them are thinking easy for her to say, um, but you didn't, you didn't have anything handed to you. You worked hard okay. for everything you got. You know, nothing was ever handed. I haven't seen my father since I was 18. So there was nothing forthcoming from, from you know, that side of the family. And my mom, if, even if she ha- wanted to give it to me, doesn't have it. So there was, it was all me, uh, every dime, every dime that I have, everything I ever made was me. And you take care of your mom now, right? You should, oh, yeah. um, she's yeah. right down the road, you know, she's a mile yeah. away. So, you know, she's, she's 80, she'll be 80 now pretty soon. Mm-hmm. So she, you know, she's close by. If she should need me, I'm here. My sister's up the road as well. So I came back into the, into the family uh, because that's where I wanted to be. Yeah. Uh, so people say, why Arizona? Uh, well, first of all, I love this state. And secondly, um, it's, uh, it's because my family's here. And I don't see that much of them. 
you know, we, we get together for family outings and that sort of thing or gatherings, but we're here if we need each other. And that's, that's, you know, that's, important. And that's important. That's important. So um, if people want to find you, Clarissa, and they want to tune in to in the limelight, share with us how we can find you. Well, we're going to be uh, on in uh, inspired news radio. That's where the podcasts are coming out. You can go on to issue.com and find the in the limelight magazine right now it's digital uh and again one hard copy that i gifted to myself um <laughs> because it just it's nothing like holding your work you know what i mean it's just, you just gotta now i'm the only this is the only time i'm going to be on the cover and that was the first time that next time there are going to be other really just really fabulous women that i'm finding and oh by the way you're gonna be one of them i didn't know if you would say yes but you better because people are watching now so you have to say yes <laughs> yes yes and yes <laughs> So, and so, uh, and that, so uh, issue.com is where you can find the in the limelight. You can go to in the limelight media.com, which at the moment is being refurbished, but you know, because we're melding a couple of things together, but that's where they will, everything will be embedded, including the videos, <clears throat> excuse me. And then once we launch with the, with the uh, video piece with the, the in the limelight TV, then we are going to be sh shooting out live. Uh, on the, again, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Periscope Live, and then you'll get the Roku, Chromecast, Apple TV, um, Amazon Fire, uh, ShareNode TV. There are quite a few different platforms that I'll be on. And I think that kind of proves that she knows what she's doing. So for people watching and listening, give them, give them a little word of advice, and then we're going to have you hold over, and we're going to do another interview for the private Facebook group for the right. Play Big Movement. So if you're not joined, please do that. Right. And uh, but make sure you listen to this full one and rewind it, because what, right. a, what a superstar she is. Well, thanks. A little bit of advice. Here's business advice, and that is, and, and I learned this the hard way, uh, and it may sound it may sound a little um, you know obvious, but it wasn't so obvious to me. And that is, make sure that you have all your legalities in place before moving forward. Don't get yourself in trouble and then have to call a lawyer because it's much harder to unravel and it's much more expensive. You know, I think a lot of startups and a lot of entrepreneurs think that they can you know cut some corners in the beginning by making writing their own agreements or you know or or, or penning their own contracts, and it doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, maybe legal zoom could work on some occasions. I don't know. I've never used it, but you definitely want to have it legally. You know, you, know, you, you preach this all the time, but I did get myself quite in a bit of trouble with that. And then the only thing that I usually tell people is to remember that they're only as beautiful as their last good deed. So all you women out there that think you're all that, what was the last good thing you did for somebody? That's what I always say. I love that. It kind of rhymes with my uh, add value to someone's life every day. So yeah, yep, exactly. that's fantastic. Well, Clarissa, thank you so much. And you're going to hang in there for yet another shorter video for the yes. private Facebook group. And thank you for taking time. I love you, my dear. And you too. Can't thank you so much. Soon. Hold on. Thank you for listening to this segment of the play big movement podcast. Please subscribe to iTunes and leave us a review, as well as join us in other areas of social media, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, at Sharon Lecter, and for Facebook, author Sharon Lecter. Thank you so much and have a fabulous day.